Uh, I am the manager of Campus Westerik, the uh, university center of Westerik. And uh, <clears throat> for you that don't know Sweden so well, we are located at the east coast in the, in the south of Sweden. You can see it here. You also see that we are a member of the NITOS network in Sweden. We uh, started this campus 16 years ago and I have been here from the start and uh, I shall try to tell you the, the goal, the mainstream and the thoughts that we bring in our work. Uh, Västervik is a quite small town in Kalmar County. As you can see, we have about 36,000 inhabitants, but it's a large uh, county community. We have 5,000 islands in our community. It's a very nice summer community. Uh, a lot of beaches, as you see. Today, not so good. It's raining and cold outside. And uh, we are quite large municipality, as I said. And the size is uh, like Blekinge, which is another county in Sweden. When we started this adventure, I must say it, because it's still an adventure. We have um, the idea to, to develop some possibilities for education in our region and in our community. This was in 1996, and we thought, how do we do this? We can't build university in Westerik. At the same time, the IT revolution has started, and the video conferencing systems were to begin to take place on the market. We tried the video conferencing uh, by telephone lines and by satellites and everything that might work, but it didn't. So uh, we have to uh, build up our own infrastructure for IT solutions. We did that with the University of Kalmar, and we started with the first education in 97, 1997. We have an idea that we could be the global meeting space for education and development for students, pupils, and inhabitants in, in Westerik and the area. And uh, we um, think us to be uh, the education and work with education as a tool for development and uh, regional growth. IT was the main structure for everything. Uh, the house we're sitting in, as you can see in the picture, was built in 1988. That's a picture from the winter, but when I look outside, it's about the same today. It's cold, it's raining, and it's windy, and we have no summer, and we cannot use our beaches today. We have two and a half thousand square meters in this house, and today the house is quite small. Uh, the house is all out technic. The main goal for us is that people with skill and initiative creates the conditions for economic growth. And that's very important in, in a community sized as Vestervik, who is quite a small community. And uh, there's a lot of perspectives in that, from individual and democratic perspective. Uh, you need to have an advocate education to get a work or to start some kind of company. And that is what we mean by the individual and societal growth. We have a lot of examples for societal growth and also, of course, individual growth. We 
We are today in about 500 students in higher education, and most of them, most of them in uh, degree programs. Uh, we also work with the labor market and, and the, uh, the companies in the neighborhood, and we have about 400 participants in, in uh, different activities and about 4,000 participants in activities, they are directly to the labor markets and the companies. Uh, in all this travel, I have to say, we haven't reached the end of the road yet, I hope. We have all the businesses in our um, community and the region uh, walking hand by hand. So we develop a lot of things together with the business and the labor market. And that is to be sure that we are doing the right things. We have to be sure that we educate people so, the, so uh, they can use their education to be at work or start a company in our region. That's the main, one of the main goals. And also we have a lot of courses that uh, you, can, uh, you can read just for fun or for your own interests. But the main goal is to supply the labor market with the right qualities. We have worked with the um, IT infrastructure since day one. And uh, today we ha have uh, perhaps one of the most uh, or one of the best infrastructures in Sweden, in my humble opinion. Uh, but we have a lot of competency in that area. And uh, we need that to be sure that we actually can stand up for the IT solutions that we prevent to the companies and to the students, and not least to the universities. Today we have a lot of business, businesses uh, attending to our facilities to use Adobe Connect, for one example, video conferencing and other IT solutions to have meetings all over the world. Uh, the company sees that as a very efficient tool to uh, save money, save time, and save environment. We started all this with the help of European Union money as a project, as I said, in 1996. Together with our neighbors, Wimmerby, Hulsred, and Oskarshamn. Uh, it was quite a big project. Under those years, from 97 to 2003, we raised uh, in about 10, 11 million euros. And the goal was the university education in northern Kalmar County, not Leon County. And the tool was the IT-based communication. We have uh, succeeded and we have keep on with this, uh, with this goal. So we, we did never left the IT-based communication tool we have developed it instead, we think. We have some main issues in our thoughts that we live by. Uh, the mission here, as you can see, is move university studies and opportunities to the students instead of the opposite. And the goal for Campus Vestervik at that day was to raise the educational level in the community. We have succeeded. 
the goal was to have about 500 students per semester. We have succeeded. Our facility um, makes the limits today. We uh, have the goal to be uh, the, the training leading to work or business, the, the leading center for training for working or business, competence, educational, uh, and, and everything that, that uh, you can need. And our students has to have a job uh, for at least 95% when they are leaving us. We have also raised that goal. And this led to, to the uh, University of Westwick Municipality begins, begins to emerge in that day and are growing today. We have a very nice welcoming industry and we have the citizens who like this. The labor market sees us as the partner to prevent them with the skills that they need. Uh, Westwick is in Sweden a very attractive community because of all these islands and the, the beaches and the archipelago we have. Uh, our students and our companies also say we have very good municipality services, schools, nursery, kindergarten and all of this kind of stuff. Of course we have to try to have attractive education. We need to have good accommodation. You need to, you have to, to choose. So you can choose where you want to live. And all this together with the, the environment in our community tells us that we have some quality of life. Very nice words, but it's, it's true. I can say. I've been living here for 17 years. There is, of course, an economic dimension in all of this, and the basics for creating an economic sustainable development here is that we need to have more businesses, better businesses, and new business. Uh, we have to see to that our companies are growing, uh, because if the companies don't get the skills they need. They move. And they move to the communities where the universities are located. That's no good for a small community like, like Westwick. And we, have, we need to have a, a wider labor market region. Uh, we need to have people going into us and going out from Westwick. Uh, but they can live in Westwick and they need to have the right skills. So this, the opportunities for lifelong learning, is essential for our community. The money in all of this is that the people lives in your community, pay the taxes, and contribute to the community's wealth. That's very important, the economic dimension. There is also an ecological dimension. You know, how do we travel today? Uh, the environmental problems is in a lot of cases caught. Um, I lost the word. But, but as you can see, the, the most problems are uh, caused by our lifestyle. We uh, fly all over the world. That's fantastic to do that. But we also need to uh, use this kind of IT-based tools that we're using today. So we can meet, we can talk, we can have some kind of social uh, context, and we can share from each other without traveling. Uh, I think that's also a very important dimension of this. <clears throat> And of course, I had to say, there's a philosophical dimension in this. Um, I like to bring some, some philosophical thoughts to what we actually are doing. 
But uh, there's a main thought, and uh, I think it's about democracy. Uh, as a citizen in our country, I think that you should and shall have the right to choose where you want to educate yourself. Uh, that's not actually true in Sweden yet, but uh, with the use of, of the IT-based technology, we may, we might come to that, and I really hope that we do that, because otherwise, the younger people in our uh, community and in our county, they move to the uh, cities where the university is. And that causes brain drain in our county and in our communities. And the brain drain is devastating because all the needed skills is lost from us. So you can say whatever you like about the philosophical dimensions, but they are very important. And you saw this picture before. And now, as you can see, our goal and our mission is to double it all. And how do we do that? Uh, in this house, we have the space for about 500 students. So, of course, we need more space, we need a new house, a bigger house, or more houses. We don't know yet. Uh, we shall double it all, he says. Uh, that because of the labor market today is very intense in the needs of new skills. We have the hospital in Vestavik that needs in about 500 nurses for the next 10 years. It's about 50 nurses a year. Uh, 200 special educated nurses, some doctors, you know, keep on, keep on, keep on. We just finished a report that says in the nearest seven, and in some cases, 10 years in Westerwijk, we have to um, fill up with 2,000 new jobs. 2,000 new people with the right skills. And all these skills are in higher education. And how do you do that in a town like Vestrik? No university. We have 15 Swedish miles to the nearest university. The people don't want to move. The people cannot go by car. They cannot go by train. And how do you do it? The solution is the IT-based communication. And a very close cooperative learning with the universities in Sweden. Today we work with about 10 universities in different education hubs. And uh, we have uh, in this special case with the nurses, the Linnaeus University, that we're now planning for a new nursery school, if you can say so, in Westwick, uh, where we are um, bound to have about 100 nurses in the system. The other site is the technological industry that needs in about 400 new workers for seven years that we also shall try to, to fix the needs. That's also uh, the only way we can do it is to use these kind of tools and, and these kind of thoughts to make this last. I think we are a good bit on the way, but we're not there yet. We have a new goal and new goals. 
we need more people, we need more staff on campus Westwick. And this is a very demanding job. And it's a very exciting job. Today we can see that some of our educations has bring brought a new labor market to Westwick. Uh, we started one of our educations uh, in 2000, 2003. Nobody knows what it was in our country. And uh, today there are 120, 130 people out there working in a complete new labor market. That's also uh, what we can uh, think as societal growth and individual growth in the perspective that most of the students who today are now out there working didn't have a thought of education, at least higher education. No one didn't thought of it. So there we see the comparison between the individual and the societal growth. So that is very interesting. Uh, I'm trying to, to, um, to read um, in the chat, but um, I hope you're, you're typing if you have uh, some questions. I don't know if Carl would like to, to come in and uh, directly. say uh, something. But uh, I think it's very interesting to, interesting to know how are you working together with the business. You, you are working together. Yes, but how do you come close to them? Yes, we're working together with, with all, uh, almost all the businesses in, in, uh, in the county of Westwick. And uh, we tried to get a good structure and we have a struggle with that for, for the, the last 10 years, I think. And that we can say that today we have a very good structure. Uh, we meet representatives of the, the labor market and the businesses twice a year. And for every meeting we have, uh, uh, we have a lot of points that we have to discuss. And then we, we uh, get to solutions that uh, Campus Westwick has to work with this issue and that issue and this issue and that issue. And they are actually our, uh, we can say they are our border. Because when I say that we have to work in one area, uh, and that is what we shall do. And no one can change that. Uh, today, except for these structured meetings, we have uh, a lot of the companies uh, to come here and uh, just, just for a chat or a cup of coffee, and you get some words with them. But um, it depends on, on uh, that today they know us. They know me and they know all my stuff. And they know if they have any educational issues, okay, call campus. Today that's a fact. But it has been a struggle and it has taken, I think, at least 10 years to reach this point. For us, that is, um, it's very secure. It's a big security to have this backup from the labor market and from the, all the companies and the businesses. Because um, with that support and that backup, 
we are quite sure that we are working with the right stuff. Short and long educations. Uh, we have the meaning, as you saw earlier, that 95% of our students should have a work who started some businesses in six months after they have yes, left us. Yes, I did. And that we uh, have you have also a question from Ola Bur Ellison. So I think... Have you seen it? One of the most important factors... Do you have an answer? ...in, uh, in our success, uh, so to say, is that the, the, uh, the support of the labor market and other businesses is one of the main factors, actually. Did you get any clearer? Yeah. Mm. If he means uh, local faculty uh, from uh, some of the universities, the answer is no. Uh, but he might Aha, okay, I think, yeah, <clears throat> uh, the, the, um, the facilities that, have that we are sitting in at Campus Festivic is uh, open you have, uh, uh, round, round the, the day uh, for students and for people who is um, in sessions in education. Uh, and we have, um, when you need to, to do some training uh, we have a lot of companies that students can do the trainings and other places in the work at market, if, if that is your, your uh, question. Do you see what I said? Yes. Did you mention who is mostly your education providers? No, we have will ask you. In, uh, in or, and all the professors are, are located at uh, uh, all the, the universities around Sweden, actually. Do you see any more questions? All right, yeah. Uh, today is actually the Linnaeus University and uh, the University of West. Uh, we have been working with these two universities uh, since 97 and 99. Uh, but we also have um, five or six, as I said, more nearer universities that we have a lot of working with. Mm -hmm. um, another question we are here developing, from uh, Nils. Are there any exercises um, business that school uh, requires the students to, to collaborate with, between the lectures? Uh, together with the University of Halmstad, uh, for example, for one other example. But uh, our... Um, our biggest pa um, partners are the Linnaeus University and the University of West. Oh yes, all the time. <laughs> Uh, the, the students' time are very mm -hmm. structured from Monday morning to, to Friday afternoon. Uh, and uh, in the university level, there are about three or four, uh, two or three days with uh, sessions. And between them, there are a lot of collab between, between the, the students and in groups. And at the time, they are uh, often here at our facilities. 
I see the most popular subjects here. Actually, it's to, to work in, in the, um, the nursing is a very popular subject. Uh, teaching, to be a teacher. Very, a lot of people want, want to be teachers today. And I'm amazed of that. And I like it because we need a lot of new good teachers. And our teachers are working with the IT-based communication tools. So I hope when they are out teach in the school, they are very good to teach out the, the IT-based tools, which the older teachers, at least in Vestrik, are not so good at. So I like that. Uh, the social okay. sector is, is also very popular. Asks, do the students the collaborate students through social platforms? They on the are a bit of rising in a tech, uh, technical area. Uh, we have some, some uh, distance to go, but uh, there are an uprising interests for technical education today, actually. Small, but there is. Mm. Um, Eugenia asks, uh, do you any uh, magisters programs? Oh yes, oh yes, yes oh yes. That's what uh, I can't it. name them all because they are uh, they use everything from from Adobe Connect to uh, I think there is about ten or twelve different platforms, but absolutely yes, they do. Mm -hmm. I can see another question from Nils, uh, uh, but not very good at teaching today, F2F, I think he means um, Facebook. One or two. Um, one in the social, uh, social science and the other one in uh, IT-based solutions. <laughs> well, some of the teachers are, are very good to, to uh, actually being in, in the room. Uh, they come here and, and visit our students the future, do from time to time. Good in face -to -face uh, so, learning, so the students teaching. actually know that they are real people. But um, it's all kind of, of, uh, <laughs> of our teachers. Uh, some of them are not very good to teach in, 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 uh, in this way either. So some are bad, some are good, yes. We'll see, we'll see. As I told you, we, we educate teachers here. Hmm, now I have to think, this is philosophical, I think. Um, and all the teachers here are working with, with IT-based platforms and IT-based communication tools. Um, I hope that they meet that their pupil <laughs> in real life, actually. But I think it's. I also think it's very important that, that we have people that uh, spread this mission that we can actually meet around the world uh, with the help of this kind of tools. And I think it's very good that, that our students, at least, uh, is uh, using this tool on a daily basis. That's good, I think. That means that we can have this, uh, this collaboration between our countries. Uh, I think we, we, um, we have some to do in the travel between um, to, to work out uh, projects together and uh, education together. The northern countries could do that. And I know it's, it's happening here and there.
but I think we can do a lot more uh, because it doesn't matter where you are located at. Do you, do you have any project? And that's, uh, that I think we, we can uh, have some, some use for. Because I think some of my companies and some representatives for my labor market surely can have something to talk with with, with a person on, on uh, Iceland. Actually, we, uh, yes, uh, one of the most interesting projects today is between uh, Sweden, Denmark, and uh, uh, Lettland, Litauen, and Latvia. It's about uh, entrepreneurship for uh, 50 plus, as we say. Uh, that is very interesting. And we see what that could could give us. I think we can have a lot of more. <clears throat> and I also think that, that we can learn from each other. And I think we can, uh, we have some, some uh, connections and some projects between companies um, uh, under the umbrella of education. They meet each other and they started to have businesses between new areas and new countries and that kind of stuff. And, and that is very good for uh, uh, for the meaning of, of uh, mm, education yes. and growth. Uh, we have a, a new question from Nils, uh, and he says, "I think the companies the have not presence, yet the place of the classroom and, and the space of the screen that, that might try, be very interesting for you that we can if you like philosophy uh, about virtual learning space spaces." It's us not a question. Today. Just the philosophic. <laughs> so. Anyone else who wants to ask Jerry something about this? We have a lot of participants who is very silent. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for that. Thank you. I like this kind of thoughts. As I remember, Jerry, you had a project uh, with um, Scotland a few years ago. What? Yeah. Oh yes, oh yes. We we have the um, the contacts still up there, and we are um, we are actually writing in a new one, a new project today. Uh, the new one uh, is about the the uh, the young people who is outside the labor markets, work markets, and. Uh, we we need to have some new ideas and new tools to get them on the labor market, uh, to get them interested in education, to get them interested in, in how do I do to get up in the morning, actually. And uh, Scotland and uh, especially Glasgow in this case, have been working with that questions for a long, long time since World War II, I think, and they have a lot to to, to learn to us in that case. And uh, Scotland also is uh, very far ahead when it comes to the structure of uh, of education and, and education related to the labor market uh, from Ulaver, and the companies. What do you see as the main benefits uh, for the students to meet? Cooperative work between the government and the labor market. Uh, in Sweden, we have a lot to learn in that case from, from Scotland, actually. And in Scotland, they also have uh, 
very good beer and very good whiskey. <clears throat> yeah, that is a good question. But we we think uh, that the group is very important to, to uh, manage you and to help you and to support you to go through your studies. Uh, and the social context in, in our place is um, developed to be, uh, to be the structure that you are at when you're doing your studies. And when the professors and the teachers come here to meet the students, they, um, they kind of bond to each other. And that makes it much more easier to talk and learn uh, in this kind of situation because you know each other and you have some bond and some bonding between the teacher, professor and the students. Uh, I think that is very important and we... Yes, and if I... Uh, we know actually add, today It's, it's uh, like to go to work. The and you're free when you in get home again. You, you don't have more, to uh, actually, be so disciplined at home. You, you go you to the, the learning center in the morning and you get home in the evening. And it can help you like to, to manage work. your education. Uh, we have another question. And we question are social. We, we like to uh, uh, What are the main tools and, means uh, When you're used. sitting in your home, you, you, you see big piles of laundry and you have to wash the windows and, and uh, do the dishes and, you know, everything except studying. And uh, that's a very good to, to say we have a place to go to. It's like going to work. Nine to five. <laughs> The main tools today is the learning platforms and video conferencing, actually. Uh, but that changes from time to time and of the situation. But right now, if you, if you go out here today and have a look, it's video conferencing and learning platforms. <clears throat> And of course, Adobe Connect is one of the video conferencing tools. Actually, it's, uh, it's very interesting because Adobe Connect in Sweden uh, hasn't been here for that long time. And um, the Swedish version That's of Adobe really Connect was started at... Nilsson is typing, so I think we small can company. wait for his... Who, who tried and tried and tried and then get know. connected to Adobe, this big American company, and started to uh, sell and uh, introduce Adobe Connect in Sweden. I think yes. that's very funny. <laughs> but Sigurd, can you, can you tell us which countries we have with us today? I'm so sad that I can't see uh, all the countries. Okay, while you're waiting for seeing them. Uh, I can imagine by the names. But, but, mm.
Yes, yes. Uh, actually, when we started, to be honest, we didn't know a thing. <laughs> we have one of the lecturers at uh, the University of Kalmar who think we can do this. And we use this tool. And at the time, it was only video conferencing. That was the only tool. And at, in these days, it was also a very bad tool. But we have the thought of trying it. And uh, for several years, it was a lot of trial, trial and error. So uh, we didn't have a theory. We didn't build it around a theory. Uh, nowadays, we, we can say we, we build it about some, some of the learning that we did and that we do even today. Uh, one of the facts is that we, uh, from Westwick, we can't expect that people should go 30 Swedish miles a day uh, for, for election and then go back. So we have to, to uh, support them in, in some, some kind of way. And the support from, from Westwick's community in, in this case is Campus Westwick. And uh, there is where the distance tool comes in. Because the universities, they don't mean to, to send teachers and, and professors to Westwick all days a week. Uh, so, so it's, it's uh, the two parties that, that collaborate in a way. And I don't think we are um, at the end yet. We, we have a lot to learn and a lot to do. But we think that we today have a, have a, a structure who is working quite well. But there's a lot of mixes of uh, didactic sciences and, and, and the technical sciences and uh, every, every professor has his way. Every teacher has his way. And, uh, okay, Jerry, you have your answer. Have we have to, Sweden, Denmark, Thailand, Iceland, Ukraine, Norway, the, and Finland. In the IT with based us tool. Today. So, no, I don't think we have a theory, actually. Mm, thank you. We have some, uh, some answers, yeah, but we don't have okay. them yet. And we I think it's happen. end of question. So, I will thank you so very much, Jerry for today, for your webinar. And I will also thank all participants from all these countries. And I will remind you of the next webinar, which is, that is the a lot 14th of, countries I would like of May, to go to. <laughs> because the 13th <laughs> right is a Sunday. So uh, it's the 14th of May at uh, 1 o'clock Swedish time. And it's from Iceland. It's uh, Robia. Uh, the Arna theme is clear, uh, Karen. The theme will be mobile really learning. The theme and we are hoping really to uh, involve both Norway and Denmark. So. Thank you. Okay, thank you. See you. The Earl will be sent to everyone, the Earl to the video from this uh, webinar will be sent out today. later on today. Thank you very and much. Goodbye. Thank you very you much, Jerry, Thank you very much. for an interesting and presentation. I this meeting today. And uh, you and all, you're if welcome you have to Iceland. feel free to contact me. I think this uh, mail address is being... <laughs> <somewhere>. <laughs> have a nice weekend.